the hardest expendable society. Stress alien here. Clean streets, benches, presentable buildings, high-flying kites, quality vittle and most of all occupants who can smile. All incubated under the dome. Situated in a biodome hectares across, all the stress apping amenities brains can engineer and policy hearts can implement. An old man sits cross-legged on a park bench today, his life long and not short on memories. The biodome's a closed ecological system, terminology is the only exchange with the outside is sunlight entering past a see-through material. Rain, wind, dust, any particle stays out. The real trick is the air. A special air that when breathed helps with ailments like pulmonary ones, pneumonia for instance. Incredibly noted an effect on reversing the aging process in the carbs. The gases green tint everywhere the eye can see, arguably thin enough individuals can make out surroundings, the altered color is no hindrance. The biodome has welfare to its operations. Applicable are such services as assisted living, adult day care, long-term care. The aforementioned left out those for all others. Quality and no short supply. Put together the no-stress environment, services and air lend themselves to expanding lifespans. As time here ends today. The medical air was developed by one corporate firm and the dome run by another, latter a large private healthcare provider. The provider's for-profit motive is driven by a literal tax to breathe air. The old man's funds are short. Higher up national leaders and separately citizens did work up a system where the state covers 70% and depending on other factors more, bankruptcy is a bonus a non-issue. Well-meaning health firm lobbyists spoke sweetest to lawmakers. The firm asks tax despite public ones paying development for a life-enhancing gas. His family is due by in hours. The day will not run its course before they escort him, aided by corporate employees outside. They'll professionally and kindly see that all belongings packed and transported. Outside life is not horrid. Ordinary really, but the air is regular. No need harping what it means for lifespan. Air a privilege formerly yours. Authors note I've seen locally how elderly are treated in care centers and how it goes abroad. The stories tone light under the cruelty. Firm employees do not behave in an openly hostile manner while condemning the man. Foreign has much to teach us locals. I advocate plenty on social media for adopting their health systems. The 70% is Japan's. Moreover I called for money, the accursed paywall must never get between you and your doctor, hurt seeing it in my life and experiencing personally. Story sparked by a sentence about a large US game video game company, as the YouTuber quipped attacks to breath air. Originally named for the love of air happily as notes were already made one day I heard John Pilger on a YouTube interview, journalist extraordinaire spoke the final title. Rare, honest breed. 8 Friday, 18 September 2020.